Well, welcome back to another episode of Fox Sports Lab NRL. We are well and truly into the NRL competition. Round 10 is upon us and Josh Morris is alongside me. Josh, how are you going? Yeah, good, Eloise. Uh, we saw some pretty good games of footy this weekend, uh, last weekend, but we're up to round 10 already. Can you believe it? Can't believe it. Origin is just around the corner. We'll be chatting all about that very shortly. But first up, the Dolphins taking on the Seagulls up at Suncorp Stadium. Dolphins $2.05, Seagulls $1.77. The Dolphins have lost three of their past four at Suncorp. Do you can see where the market's at for this one? Yeah. Oh, look, I, I think that's a good price for the Dolphins. I think they've surprised a lot of people. I mean, mm. when the hammer went down with the injury, uh, myself included, I thought, oh, no, they're not really a chance of winning too many games without him. But they've just got this knack of bringing in players and they just do their job well. And that's a, a sign of Wayne Bennett coach sides. Uh, they were down... 10-0 uh, against the Cowboys, and they just show resilience. They got themselves back into the game, and they just control it, and it's off the back of their young half, uh, Isaiah Katoa. Uh, for Manly, they squandered a massive lead against the Raiders, and I'm sure Anthony Seabold would have given them a fair spray after that one. So I can't see Manly putting in a performance like that again. They do concede a lot of points at Suncorp, though. They've conceded 106 in their last three games. But I, I think this will be a, a close game, but I, I think Manly will win this one. I can't see them doing what they did uh, last week, this week. Yeah, I don't think many people could believe the lead that they did give up. Uh, up next with the Eels hosting the Broncos. Eels $3.20, Broncos $1.33. Broncos coming off that loss. The Eels have lost nine of their last uh, last nine games without fullback Clint Gutherson. Yeah, that's an alarming stat, that one. and. Um, yeah, he can. He is the heart and soul of that team, and he mm. does do a lo- lot of their clean up work. So uh, it, it falls back on the young shoulders of Blaze Talungi. He goes to the fullback uh, role. But the Broncos, you know, they've lost Adam Reynolds as well for a, an extended period mm. of time. Josh Rogers comes into the halves that he's only played uh, the one game previously. Corey Oates comes in for Jesse Arthurs, and Jack Gachevsky is coming too for Fletcher Baker. So. Um, the Broncos do have a good record against the Eels. They've won three of their last four. Uh, at Combank, though, their record's not too crash hot. But I just think the loss of, of King Gutho and, and Mitch Moses, they're two mm. key players in that spine. Oh, I can't see them winning this one, so I've tipped the Broncos. Yeah, that will be a tough one at home for the Eels. Up next, I think this is probably the pick of the round, the game of the round that we've identified, Josh. The Storm taking on the Sharks, both in red hot uh, form at the moment. Storm at dollar seventy five, Sharks two dollars eight. Really is a flip of the coin to see what side will be on on their day. Obviously, the Storm though without Ryan Pappenhausen after going down with that injury last week. Yeah, it's a top of the table clash and. This is a massive test for the Sharkies. I mean, the last two years, the Sharks have been spoken about as flat-track bullies. They haven't really been able to to beat mm-hmm. top four sides, and they've gone out in straight sets in the finals two years in a row. So to get the job done, they have to beat the Storm side, who have won 14 in a row at home. Like It's just a ridiculous record. There's, the Storm have won six of their past seven versus the Sharks as well. So if the Sharks are going to win this, it's, it's going to be a massive upset. Uh, for the Sharkies, Toby Rudolph's out and Royce, Royce Hunt uh, comes into the starting side. Uh, and there's some big outs in the Storm, obviously, with Ryan Pappenhausen and Jerome Hughes. Mm. But I just It's just the Storm's way that whoever they bring in they are able to do a job. Tyron Wishett comes in and we've seen that he's been able to cover a lot of positions. And then Kyle Longo gets his chance at fullback and we saw just what a live wire he has been. So... I'm expecting a big game from him. Look, I think the Storm will still get this one done, but I think it's going to be definitely the game of the round. And, um, yeah, I think the Storm will be too good. They'll register their 15th win in a row at home. If you're Craig Fitzgibbon, though, and you're seeing the outs sort of in that Storm spine, no Ryan Pappenhausen, no Jerome Hughes, are you targeting or who are you targeting and where is the biggest priority coming into this match? Just given what it sort of means, it's real the benchmark, like you mentioned at the top, of where they're at for their season. Oh, look, I think they've got to go after Fyalongo. He's such a, a dangerous player um, in, in open space. So their kick chase needs to be right on. They need to get the ball high and be trying to meet him and, and limit his damage. Um, their forward pack, I, I think it's a good battle of, of the forwards there. But, yeah, I, I think they need to shut down um, their spine for sure if they're able to get the job done. Munster's still in the side and Harry Grant's still in the side. He scored four tries in five games against the Sharks. So... Always a constant threat there. So, um, yeah, they really need to shut down the, the Storm spine if they're to get the victory. Yeah, they are formidable at home as well, the Storm. Up next, we've got the Titans hosting the Cowboys. 
Uh, Titans two dollars twenty two. Cowboys a dollar sixty five. AJ Brimson. He has been on fire. His form has been great since he's moved out of the centers. He's got a great strike rate against the Cowboys. He's scored eight tries in the last eleven games. You'd expect him to be on fire once again coming up against the Cowboys. They fell short last week. Is it this time for them to get their second win of twenty twenty four? I think it is, Eloise. I think that they've had one. Oh, they've had four losses recently, but they've been by less than four yeah. points. They've been so close to winning. They took the Storm to the wire again uh, and Storm at top of the table. For me, the, the Cowboys, they were really disappointing against the Dolphins. Their edge defense is is of a concern to me. I think AJ Brimson, the type of player he is, he can really pick apart their edges. So I'll be looking for that. Um, but for me, the Cowboys didn't really respect the ball against the Dolphins. Mm-hmm. Chad Townsend comes back into the side, so you expect that they're going to be a lot more um, disciplined with their attack. But I, I just like really like what the the Titans are doing. I think they're playing the better of the football, and you know I think the price that they're at and and with a start that could be the better of the week. Yeah, absolutely. Two dollars twenty two. Get on board the Titans for that one. Just quickly a wrap up of the rest of the games. Quick tip: Panthers Bulldogs. Yeah, Nathan Cleary's back in for the Panthers here. So I'm tipping Panthers 13 plus. I think the Dogs, they'll get a real yardstick to see where they're at with this clash. Yeah, certainly. And Stephen Crichton coming up against his old club. That's always great. West Tigers on the Knights up in Tamworth. This one was a tough one, a uh, really tough one. A flip of the coin. I went the Knights purely on the fact that their halves are a lot more established and, and um, you know, experienced. So I've gone the Knights 1 to 12 in that one. Dragons, Rabbitohs. Yeah, the, it's just too many injuries at the Rabbitohs. I mean, mm-hmm. Latrell got back into the side, but too many injuries there. Uh, so I've tipped the Dragons. Roosters taking on the Warriors. Yeah, look, for me, the way the Roosters are playing, um, yeah, they're, they've got to be the, the tip of the week. So I've tipped the Roosters 13 plus here. The Warriors, they've been very disappointing. Uh, Spencer Lenu comes back into the side as well. So that's a big boost for the Roosters. But I just really love the way that they're playing at the moment. So, uh, yeah, Roosters 13 plus. You're giving them one more chance. Josh Morris, of course, Canberra Raiders have the bye in round 10. <laughs> Last week and they beat beat the Broncos and, and walloped them and uh, Angus Crichton and, and um, Connor Watson were outstanding for the Roosters. So those two players keep that up. Um, you know, they could be in the chat for origin. Yeah, they certainly are firing on all cylinders, the Roosters. Thanks so much for your time, Josh. We'll chat next week for round 11. Look forward to it. See you, Eloise. Chances are you're about to lose. For free and confidential support, Call the number on the screen or visit the website.